Hi. Today I'm going to test the myth whether it's possible to erase all the data from a hard drive by running the Windows format command. Let's have a look at what I have. I got a Raptor hard drive, a zero A cable, a USB, two zero A converter, and a power adapter. For this setup, I was going to use my Windows PC and my Linux PC to test it afterwards, whether all the data has been erased. So, let's start by attaching the hard drive. Let's see. I actually don't know whether this is hot pluggable, but let's find out. There we go. And let's see. Of course, this would be easier if I had both in my hands. There we go. And let's see. And some better lighting condition would also be preferable. Let me just see here. Yes, this is a Raptor, old Raptor hard drive which also have the old Moldix connector. Of course you don't use both of them at the same time. Let's see, it started up rather noisy. So that's why I don't use it. Okay, let's have a look if Windows could detect this. Okay, so it turned out that the hard drive was not hot pluggable oh well it was the controller of the motherboard who that was not but anyway I used the USB controller instead well here we have the hard drive and this hard drive have actually been completely uh, erased to begin with since it's one I got from a buddy of mine let's see so I have to initiate it first with a standard master boot record. There we go. Then we are going to make a new partition. And uh, for this testing purpose, it's only going to be 100 megabytes because uh, it's otherwise it's going to take too long. And it has to. No, we are not going to assign it. Oh, yeah, are we? Well, well, let's go assign it the driver letter H for now. And the the important thing here is that we do not perform a quick format because uh, that will definitely not overwrite the entire disk. We're going to make it completely erased here. Oh well, that's the intention of the test, whether or not it's going to be completely erased. So there we go. It has been formatted. Now uh, let's uh, give them some random files. I will just find some random files and put on this H drive. And then afterward I'm going to switch it over to the Windows PC. And there we are going to see that the no, the Linux PC and then we are actually then we will see that there actually is data before we erase the data again. That seems like the most pro appropriate thing to do. So here we go. And, and this is actually a quite fast hard drive, this Raptor hard drive. So about half of the disk space is now filled up with some some pictures. And uh, well I'm going to switch it over to the Windows P no to the Linux PC just a moment. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is uh, copy the the partition to my uh, Linux PC so we can have a look at it later. Uh, first I'm going to take a look that the hard drive is actually connected and it is there, SDB. So uh, let's copy it. Mm. STB1 and uh, we need 
read at our output file. Let's see. And of course we need to be root to do this. There we go. Uh, yes, this is going to take a while. So I will just cut this part out. Okay, there we go. We have made a copy of this partition. So what I'm going to do now is of course move it back and completely erase the hard drive. Oh, well, that's the intent. Okay, here it is. Let's format it. A full format, of course. Yes. There we go. Okay, then we are going to make a new copy. There. Okay, it's done now. And what you haven't seen is I have moved the files to my uh, Windows PC. So we are going to open the two files here in a hex editor. Let's start with the one with the pictures. So uh, this is standard hex editor. And you can see it's an NTFS file system. But uh, there's plenty of data here. Let's see, there's blocks of zeros here. Remember, it was only half filled with data. Okay, then let's have a look at our formatted. There we go. So here we see there is data in the start, but uh, that's ex to expect it, as the partition table should be here. You see, it's the boot manager is right here starting. Okay, so let's see. Is there still data? when it's formatted. Yeah, there looks still to be data. But oh, there was zero there. So maybe this is the end of the of the index. Let's see, is it empty? It seems empty, but let's see if we take it slowly. Remember half of it should be filled if it was just a uh, quick format. Here is a group of ones instead of zeros. Interesting. But still, I don't see any data. Oh, there was something. A very little block. Let's see. Well, this seems to be that the, when you actually format a Windows partition, the is created a hidden log file. But still, I don't see all my pictures. Where's my pictures? And the end of the partition. So I think we can safely say that uh, Windows format does indeed override the entire partition with zeros. Of course there will still be a partition table, but uh, that doesn't mean that the data hasn't been completely erased. <laughs>